quantitative aptitude hmm let's do a video on that Hey friends, welcome back to my channel Speed Mask. This is Sunil Sharma over here. And in today's video, we are going to learn quantitative aptitude questions. Well, quantitative aptitude questions are asked in many, many competitive examinations and also it is asked in placement exams. So, basically, quantitative aptitude has got plethora of topics and the topic which I have chosen for you all is nothing but it may be your favorite or it may be your most hated topic. It is called as trigonometry yes my dear friends we are going to start a lecture series on various different topic and today's topic is trigonometry well i will not bore you with a lengthy video my video will be very very short covering five to six questions of a particular type and if you have any other questions do post your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible so without any further ado let's begin so here is the first question if sec theta plus tan theta equals to two what is the value of sec theta and here are the four options you have 10 seconds to think of it. So friends, let's find the answer very quickly. Now since it is given sec theta plus tan theta equals to 2 and whenever we have sec theta and tan theta, we can use this identity sec square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1. Now guys, we can use a square minus b square formula to get sec theta minus tan theta into sec theta plus tan theta and that will be equal to 1. Now if you see, we know sec theta plus tan theta is 2, so we plug in the value. So we get sec theta minus tan theta into 2 equals to 1. So sec theta minus tan theta, when you take 2 on the other side, we get it half. Now, if you see, we don't know sec theta, neither we know tan theta. So we have two unknowns. So we need to solve it like a linear equation. So let us mark sec theta plus tan theta equals to two as equation number one and sec theta minus tan theta equals to half as equation number two. So what we are going to do, we are going to add here. So adding equation one and two, you can see that tan theta gets cancelled. Sec theta plus sec theta gives you two sec theta and two plus half, if you take LCM, will give you phi upon two and if you take the two on the other side it gives you phi upon four so the correct option for this question is option d now let's go for the second question so here is the second question if sec theta minus cosec theta equal to zero what is the value of tan theta plus cot theta and here are the four options and you have 10 seconds to think about it So let's try to use what is given to us. Sec theta minus cosec theta equal to zero. So if you take cosec theta on the other side, you get sec theta equals to cosec theta. Now let's convert everything into sine cos. So sec theta will be one upon cos theta and cosec theta will be one upon sine theta. Now if you cross multiply, you will get sine theta upon cos theta equals to one. And we all know that sine theta upon cos theta is tan theta. So we are getting tan theta equals to one. And since tan theta is one, Obviously, cot theta will also be 1 and the question says we need to find tan theta plus cot theta. So, tan theta is 1, cot theta is 1. So, tan theta plus cot theta will give us 2. So, option D is the correct answer. Let's move on to the next question. If cos raised to 4 theta minus sin raised to 4 theta equals to 2 upon 3, what will be the value of 1 minus 2 sin square theta? And you have 10 seconds to think about it. First of all, it has been given to us cos raised to 4 theta minus sin raised to 4 theta equals to 2 upon 3. Now, in order to solve this, first we need to convert this into a square minus b square format. So here, cos raised to 4 theta can be written as cos square theta the whole square. And similarly, sin raised to 4 theta can be written as sin square theta raised to whole square. Now here, a will be cos square theta and b will be sin square theta. So applying a square minus b square to it, we will get cos square theta minus sin square theta and cos square theta plus sin square theta equals to 2 upon 3. Now we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So what we have is cos square theta minus sin square theta into 1 equals to 2 upon 3. Now cos square theta can be written as 1 minus sin square theta that is the need of our question. So what we get is 
1 minus 2 sin square theta equals to 2 upon 3. So the correct option is C. Now let's move on to the next question. And the question is, if tan theta equals to 4 upon 3, what will be the value of 3 sin theta plus 2 cos theta upon 3 sin theta minus 2 cos theta? And you have 10 seconds to think about it. Now since we know the value of tan theta, in the given ratio, we are going to convert the terms into tan theta. So what we are going to do, we are going to divide numerator and denominator by cos theta. So here we will get 3 into sin theta upon cos theta plus 2 cos theta upon cos theta, the whole upon 3 sin theta upon cos theta minus 2 cos theta upon cos theta. Cos theta will get cancelled and sin theta upon cos theta will give you tan theta. So what we have is 3 tan theta plus 2 upon 3 tan theta minus 2. Now since we know the value of tan theta, we are going to plug in the value of tan theta which is 4 upon 3. So what we get is 3 times 4 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3 times 4 upon 3 minus 2. So 3 will get cancelled. So what we get is 4 plus 2 upon 4 minus 2 which will give us 6 upon 2 that will give us 3. So the correct option is option D. Now let's move on to the next question and this one is very very interesting. I'm sure you will like this question. So here is the question. The question says we need to find the value of tan of 1 degree into tan of 2 degree into tan of 3 degree and so on till tan of 89 degree and here are the options and you have 10 seconds. Now to solve this question we need to know that product of tan A into tan B will be 1 if A plus B gives you 90 degree. So here we are going to rearrange the term such that some of the angles will be 90 degree. For example tan of 1 and tan of 89 can be grouped together. Likewise tan of 2 and tan of 88 can be grouped together and so on and so forth till tan of 45. Now here tan of 1 into tan of 89 will give you 1. Likewise, tan of 2 into tan of 88 will give you 1 and so on and so forth till tan of 45 into tan of 45 will give you 1. So the product of the entire expression will be 1. So option B is the correct answer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this video, yaar, ek like to banta hai, do hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also do hit that notification button because I don't want you to miss out any future update on this series. Thank you very much for your support. Stay tuned for my next one. Till then, God bless. Keep learning. Take care. Peace.